Intrauterine contraception, sometimes known as the COIL, is the most popular method of reversible contraception in the world and is suitable for women of all ages, backgrounds and circumstances. It is over 99% effective, more effective than pills or condoms at preventing pregnancy, and over five years, less than one in 100 women using intrauterine contraception will become pregnant. This is compared to eight in 100 women who will become pregnant over one year of using the pill. There are many reasons why women choose this method. It works really well at preventing pregnancy. It doesn't interfere with sex. Once fitted, you can forget about contraception until the device is due to be changed. And once it is removed, your fertility goes straight back to what is normal for you. This film introduces the two types of intrauterine contraception available, the Mirena and the Copper IUD. The Mirena and the Copper IUD are both small plastic T-shaped devices that sit inside the womb. Two soft threads at the bottom sit high up inside the vagina. The Mirena has a hormone called progestogen within it. This hormone makes the lining of the womb thin and also makes the mucus at the neck of the womb thicker so sperm can't get in. The Mirena takes seven days to start working effectively. The Mirena can also be used to treat heavy periods and as part of hormone replacement therapy at the time of the menopause. The copper IUD works mainly by stopping the sperm from fertilising the egg. It starts working as soon as it has been fitted. The copper IUD is hormone free and generally will not change the regularity of your periods. When can they be fitted? The IUD and Mirena can usually be fitted at any point in your cycle, unless you could be pregnant. We therefore ask that you do not have unprotected sex after your last period until your appointment. Some women need extra tests before having an IUD or Mirena fitted. For example, women with very heavy or unpredictable bleeding. Your GP or sexual health clinic will discuss this with you and organise extra tests if they are needed. What happens at the clinic? At the clinic, you will meet the health professional who is fitting your IUD or Mirena. A clinical support worker will also be there to support you. The health professional will check your medical history and answer questions. We suggest that you have a light meal before coming to have your IUD or Mirena fitted. We will examine you before fitting the IUD or Mirena. This is an examination to look at the neck of the womb, similar to when you have a smear test. The IUD or Mirena is then fitted into the womb and we will cut the threads of the device so that they sit high up inside the vagina. The procedure can be uncomfortable, but half of women experience little or no pain and local anaesthetic can be used. The whole appointment usually lasts around 30 minutes. After the procedure, some women have cramping period-like pain and you should take it easy for the rest of the day. Cramps usually settle after a few days and simple painkillers can be taken. You may also have some light bleeding from the procedure itself. We ask you to check that the threads of your IOUD are still there four to six weeks after it has been fitted. You can do this by inserting one or two fingers inside the vagina. How long do they last? The copper IUD will last for five or ten years, depending on which type you have fitted. The Mirena will last for five years. We don't send out reminders when your device is due to be changed, so take a note of this date and keep it somewhere safe. You can have your IUD or Mirena removed at any time. We ask that you use condoms for seven days before having your IUD or Mirena removed or changed. Side effects and risks. With the Mirena, unpredictable bleeding and spotting is quite common in the first three to six months. This usually settles into no periods or light bleeding. Some women notice headaches or spottier skin in this initial period. With the copper IUD, some women experience heavier, longer or more painful periods.
there can also be some bleeding in between periods in the first few months. Most women have no complications and find having an IUD or Mirena fitted a very straightforward procedure. But, very occasionally, the IUD or Mirena can fall out of the womb. This happens in around 1 in 20 women. There is a small risk of infection and this is a little more likely in the couple of months after having the device fitted. In 1 in 1,000 cases, the IUD or Mirena can go through the wall of the womb. If this happens, you may need a small operation to remove the device. You are overall less likely to fall pregnant with an IUD or Mirena, but if you did, then there is a slightly higher risk of it being a pregnancy outside the womb, which is called an ectopic pregnancy. Although the Mirena and IUD are very good at stopping you from becoming pregnant, they do not protect you against sexually transmitted infections such as chlamydia or gonorrhea. We always recommend you use condoms in a new relationship. What about emergency the contraception? The IUD can be used as emergency contraception. This means that it can be fitted to stop you from becoming pregnant up to five days after unprotected sex. The Mirena cannot be used for emergency contraception. Please contact a pharmacist, your GP, local sexual health clinic or A&E department if you have had unprotected sex and need advice. In summary, the Mirena and the Copper IUD are both very effective methods of contraception. The Mirena will generally make the periods lighter and may stop them altogether. Irregular bleeding in the first three to six months is common. The copper IUD contains no hormones, can be used as emergency contraception and generally doesn't affect the regularity of periods, but they may become heavier, more painful and last a little longer. The IUD and Mirena are very safe, effective and popular methods of contraception suitable for women of all ages, backgrounds and circumstances. If you would like to have an IUD or Mirena fitted or discuss any other methods of contraception, please contact your local GP or sexual health service.